God bless you, God bless you. This is Joel Brown with Joel 228 Ministries. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Today, I want to just take the time out to testify. Talk about my testimony of how I experienced Jesus Christ in my life as my personal Lord and Savior. Because the Bible says that we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. And this is something that the Lord has placed on my heart to do. And I'm just being obedient to the Lord because I believe that somebody will be encouraged out there. Somebody may be going through something and this testimony will bless you. It will encourage you. It will lift your faith, right? Because faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So I just got to talk about my backstory because I got saved at 17, the age 17. I got saved in 2010. So prior to me getting saved, I grew up in a Christian home where my mother and father was there and they took me to church, me and my sister. We went to church, we went to Sunday school and stuff like that. But at the age of around five, that was a turning point in my life where my parents, they split up. And now I was now in a broken home where it was just me and my mom and uh, my sister. So my father wasn't in the picture anymore. And I believe that affected me where I didn't really care too much about church stuff. Because growing up where hearing my father talking about God and my mom talking about church and stuff like that to see where there was a split, you know, it, it really was an emotional moment for me, even at the age of five. You know, sometimes we think and we say, oh, you were just only five. What are you talking about? But it definitely affected my faith growing up because now it was just me and my mom and my sister and my father wasn't there like that. So it, it really affected me as a male, as a boy, not having that father figure there, or not having that role model to talk to me about Christ and about the faith and stuff like that. So I grew up not having that and drifted away from church where my mom from time to time would say, hey, we're going to church, but I grew up neglecting church where I didn't care too much about church. So even growing up age 10, age 11 and stuff like that where you know you have a little bit more talk, I would sleep in in bed, didn't want to go, I'm tired, didn't care about church stuff. And I remember my grandmother, she would be telling me about God and stuff like that and she would, she would talk and then I would just listen and it would just go through one ear and come through the other. It wasn't sticking because I didn't care didn't care about the church stuff and then seeing uh you know as you grow in your teenage stage you know now starting to have desire for a young woman and stuff like that and the, the things of the world partying and stuff like that so i became uh i would say intrigued wanted to know more about the world this stuff so in my teenage years now party you wanted to party the girls and stuff like that, that was on my focus. I wasn't thinking about God. But even though I was there doing all these things, there was still like a longing on the inside of me for love, for a real love. No matter what I did, I could be partying and I can have all the friends and stuff like that. The influence in the school, but deep down there was still a hurt. There was still a pain that was on the inside, you know, not having that father figure not there, coming from a broken home, problems with my mom, uh, my sister staying with her grandparents, uh, just being there with my mom by herself, you know, no matter what, the things of the world just couldn't fulfill that that longing on the inside of me that that pain that i felt on the inside uh, it was just a pain and then uh, one of my friends he invited me he invited me to church with him 
because I would go to church sometimes and just don't really care. But he invited me to a church service. And I was like, man, what do you mean? Church, you tell me about church. Um, I didn't really care to go. Uh, but I said, all right, let me go. And um, I remember I went to the church service. It was actually a, uh, like a Saturday service. It was like a youth, youth event, um, like a youth meeting. And I went and I don't know, something happened. When, when I went there, it touched my heart because when I was there, I saw a young person there who loved God, where you could literally feel that that genuineness that was coming from them and I remember that we went after the meeting we were holding hands to pray and um, as they were praying some of the young persons there um, they began to pray in the spirit and I was just intrigued I was like yo what is this you know because no I'm, I'm seeing some young people that was on fire for God and and they were talking about God in a real way. I could I could tell the authenticity that 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 genuine love for God that was coming from them because growing up in a certain church environment where it was more like to the book and boom 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 it wasn't like it, it didn't make it, it seem as if God was real. It seemed it seemed as if it was just going through this religious program. But now we're seeing these young people that were having a fire for God, having passion for God, you know, it, it did something on the inside of me where it touched me, and I remember as they were praying, my eyes were closed, but I was like wondering what's going on here, and as they were praying, I remember I could just hear, hear a sound, it was like waterfall, it was like a rushing water just rushing, like I heard like this sound. And it was later on I could now describe it that it was more like a waterfall and and deep down it was like a peace was in my spirit, you know, and I left the meeting uh feeling like challenged, like hey, what is this? And I remember it was one night in that same time time period where I was just questioning God I was just talking to God and I remember I opened up my Bible and I was looking through the scriptures and as I was looking through the scriptures I started to look on, on men like Joseph men like David and I remember I said to God I said God I don't want to be like the Christians that I see around because I saw Christians where Christians were compromising Christians weren't bold about their faith they weren't passionate about the things of God that's what when I thought of Christianity that's what I thought I thought of young men that were acting weak and feeble that's that's the image that came to mind but when I was in the Word of God I could have seen strong men representing Christ and I remember I said God if I'm to live for you I don't want to be like an ordinary Christian. I want to be like these men in the Bible. I want to I wanna have faith. I want to walk with God. I want to have that relationship with Him. And I said, God, I don't want to be like the ordinary Christian. I want to be extraordinary. I want that Bible faith, you know. And I just started to have a deep desire for learning more about God. And I remember I would listen to praise and worship music. And then as I listened to praise and worship music, I just felt a peace on the inside, like a peace that I've never felt before. You know, it was the Lord really pouring into me and the Lord really bringing about true healing from the hurts that I experienced growing up. We're broken marriage with my father, my father broken home where my father wasn't there. My father wasn't there and being supportive and stuff like that. All these things that I went through, going through schooling where I wish I had that extra support from my parents, you know. And, and I just said, like, the Lord was just doing something new in me. Where now I started to desire going to church. And I remember I would be telling my mom, come, let's go to church. Now, it was the flip because before I didn't want to go. Now I'm encouraging my mom to go. And the Lord really did something different in my spirit. 
where I started to want to tell persons about Christ. And I remember in school, I started to tell persons about Christ. I started to tell my friends, hey, Jesus loves you. God cares about you. And I started just encouraging. Now, in high school, I was, um, I was well known in high school. So persons were shocked because I was the, the kind of guy that was super cool and had the girls and stuff like that. So persons were shocked, like, what's going on? This guy, Joel, he really turned a Christian and stuff like that. And it, it started to trigger something in the school where lots of persons were now starting to come to Christ. And I had my friend who invited me to church. We were there and we started to tell them persons about God. And we had like a little group of men where we were work, walking in the schools with Bibles, like big Bibles and stuff like that. And we're talking about scriptures. And it became a powerful thing in the school where we see persons who are encouraged, persons started to take, we started to get testimonies, persons oh, gave their life to Christ and persons who were Christians now, we started to connect with them and it was a beautiful thing that happened in high school, you know, so that's, that's the, oh, my life got transformed when I experienced Christ, you know. It, it just brought a refresh into my spirit and I just found this good thing and I had to share it. I had to tell persons about God. And that's my journey of how I became a Christian. That's how I accepted Jesus. So I accepted Christ in my life at the age 17 and I got baptized. And I'm telling you, it was a beautiful moment, you know, surrendering everything to God, you know, it, it opened my eyes it, it's just a peace that comes knowing that you're in right standing with God and that is why I, I desire a relationship with God because I believe that God is true and God is alive and well it's not like the way persons want to talk about God as this religious figure that we only read about in the Bible but I believe that God wants to do stuff in our life today God wants to move today God wants to give us testimonies God wants to show forth his glory today you know being in an environment like that that is why I desire to pray with a difference because when I pray I'm praying knowing that God hears and he answers and I pray that the Lord will reveal himself to somebody today as you listen to this testimony I pray that your heart will be healed you would be encouraged because if he could have done it for me, he could have healed my heart from all the heartbreak, all the pain growing up, all the, the hurt. If he could do it for me, if he could transform my life, I know he can do it for you. So God bless you. And remember, we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. So let's testify and tell of the good news of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior and Redeemer. God bless you.